Hey guys, welcome back to Welker Farms. My name is Nick Welker and uh, we're getting some farming going on. We're actually in winter wheat seeding season right now. As you guys have seen in probably the previous video, we got the Big Bud 600 pulling out there, putting in some uh, good old winter wheat. And uh, so far, a little dry, but I went out and checked and it's germinating. So that's good. So we're gonna get another drill going. We've got two. Um, problem is uh, our other Big Bud, the 525, well, it's a hand pump steering sector, kind of blew up in the spring and it's hard to get parts for those things right now. It's just, they don't make a lot of those large steering sectors. So it's on back order, so we won't get it in time. So we're gonna do things a little different this year, a little different. As you can see, the 3725 Precision Air Cart is back. In fact, actually it never left. It's been in the backyard ever since spring planting. And uh, we didn't really have an intent to use it for fall planting, but because it stuck around, it turned out. This is still a demo, guys, as you're aware. This is still Case IH property, but they said, you guys wanna use it for some winter wheat? Yes, sir, we absolutely will. So we're gonna get this thing going. And the next thing though, this is what's a little different, a little different. We brought on the farm, thanks to Case IH, a tired, tired version of the 620 Steiger. Not a quad track this time. This is a little different. I've always wanted to run a wheeled Steiger. Wheeled Steiger. This has got the 710, 70 R42s on it, the Goodyear off the tracks. And it's gonna be really interesting to put this in the field with the exact same unit on the back the quad had. Same horsepower, same displacement, same transmission, almost identical to frame as far as I know. Just a little bit different fenders. They have some wheel weights on, in the front axle. They've got some weights stacked in the front because tracks are heavy. The whole mechanism, the whole structure for tracks adds a lot of weight to these tractors. So to get this tractor to where it needs to be, that 60, 65,000 pounds, I'm not entirely sure where it's at. They got to put all this on here. So it's got some weight stacked on it. Now, before we get going, I just want to say, this is our 57 foot flex coil hoe drill. We've had this thing for a couple of years. It is a good drill. It's a little small for this cart, but it makes for a lot of hours without refilling, which is really nice. And this cart is 725 bushels, which is like almost double what our other carts are. So very few fill times and a lot of hours in the field. Let's fire up, let's get in position. We got to get that backco conveyor over the top of it. And then we'll put some fertilizer in, some seed, get it calibrated because it could be a little different weight for this fertilizer and seed from the spring. And that's all good. We'll hit the field. Welcome to the demo. iPads have the Intelligent Egg blockage monitor. That's set up. I think I got everything set in the cart correctly. I've got my cell phone holder. I've got my camera in my hand. Drone's down there. And a uh, bottle of water. Guess that's all I need. Let's go roll down the road. First up, how smooth does it ride? Now I'm on the road. Let's kick her up some gears. Let's see how it rides at full speed. All right, so what are we doing now? We're going 20. It's about 24 and a half miles an hour right now. About 20 miles now, there was a slight hop, which is typical for tires. I feel a little bit of kind of just rocking. You know, it's just, that's normal. This duel over here, it's something that kind of just floats and hops. But I'll tell you one thing, this is so much smoother than a quad track. Absolutely. Now, granted, obviously it rides a lot like our big buds do because our big buds have eight tires, similar size, not quite as big as these but similar. This tractor's weighted in about 10 to 15,000 pounds more than our big buds. Plus I've got all the weight of the cart on the back, but I'm not bashing tracks, not by any means at all. They have their place. A lot of people love them, but this tractor definitely wins hands down when it comes to ride quality going 24 miles an hour. We'll find out it goes in the field here real soon. All right, here we are slowing down, slowly bumping gears down. So there's the big bud. That's a 600. And uh, dad seeded about a thousand acres with that while we were at the Big Iron Farm Show. And I'm gonna pick up where he left off 
So let's pull in here. I'm gonna grab the tools out of there too, because we're gonna go ahead and retire that tractor for the season and do the rest with this one. I want about 2,500 acres in the ground. He's got about 1,000 in, so I'll do another 1,000 to 1,500 with this thing. I think it'll be a good comparison. All right, let's swing her out, then we'll get it set up. This thing was running canola the last time, so it's set really shallow on the depth. We gotta adjust that, because you see wheat deeper than you do canola. So I'll wing it out. We'll do a quick pass, trial pass, just kinda see how it's laying it, make sure it's all flowing properly. And then I get the GPS all configured and set up on his line, and then go to town. Oh yeah. All right, we be seeding. Things are moving right along. Depth is set, rate is set. Field and job is put into the monitor. I'm on my GPS line, I'm cruising down the field. And so far, it rides a little different than the quad. Um, I'd say it's a little bumpier. I've heard that from people. They say the quads ride better when you're actually in the field running, but it's a more gradual, just kind of moves around. I suppose it's because I've got a lot more area, a lot more machine on the ground to catch the bumps and dips and rises and low spots in the ground that'll make the tractor move around. So the wider you go, the more you're gonna feel a little bit, but I, I don't know, it's not that bad. I do really like seeing all these tires turning back here. I, again, I'm not against tracks and all, but I just like seeing all that rubber turning. It looks good. It just feels like you're in a big truck or a big tractor. Makes sense. All right, well, I'll check back in on the ride quality here not long, but um, so far, this isn't bad at all. As you can see, we've got the flag mounted on the staircase. I would put it on the very top, but we do have power lines. And that cart, that 3725, is so big that with the flagpole on the top, I will clip power lines. So I don't have that up there. But we have it down. It's okay. It's a compromise. It still looks good. I can still stare at Old Glory. So as you can see, I'm running the section control right now. Now sectional control is pretty cool on this because each meter has their own motor. And so I just turned off one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of the motors on tank one and tank three. And now I'm only putting product down with a little bit of the drill right here. I am seeding into the stubble, our wheat stubble from last year, but that's okay because I'm not putting any product down there, so nothing will grow there. If this were our old carts, I'd be overlapping probably this side and double seeding with fertilizer and seed the whole way down, wasting a whole bunch of product. But now I can get it all in one pass and I'm not wasting all that stuff. Now someday they're going to have a drill that'll lift up each individual shank and you only put down the ones in the areas you need. And I guess they probably already have something like that, but I'm assuming that would take a tremendous amount of hydraulics. It'd probably be a nightmare for maintenance. So this will work for now. Yeah, sectional control, it's a good thing. You can see my Intelligent Egg blockage monitor does not like that sectional control. These two are the two that are running, the rest of those it thinks got problems. No problems, all intentional. But at least it knows what it's doing. It's good to see. Well, dad just jumped in. He's gonna take over for a bit. I think he kind of wants to run it. You know how dads are. So I'm gonna run back, grab some food. He's gonna keep seeding. Even though he already knocked in about a thousand acres of the bud. I guess he'll be fresh to compare the two, huh? This is a wheel version. Uh, we've had this is the first wheel version that we've had on our farm, a new one. Uh, yeah, the others have all been quads, and uh, quads are really nice. Uh, there's no doubt about them. They really have a place. Uh, if you need uh, traction, wet conditions, uh, that I think that'll definitely fit. So this is the first experience. The, you know, of course, we run the big buds and they have uh, wheels. So uh, they're, you know, 
comparing uh, the Buds versus the Wheeled Steiger. And uh, my opinion of this is it's really nice. Um, it's got a great display here, a lot of information, more information than I can comprehend. Uh, it's very techy, so those who are techy can really uh, gravitate to it and really put your hands into it. Um, I pretty much know the basics to uh, get it down to point A, get it back to point B, get rid of some seed, get rid of some fertilizer, so we can fill it back up again. You know, it's relatively smooth, so I'm trying to just feel the difference, trying to remember the quad uh, tractor uh, Steiger versus this wheel tractor and uh, I don't think there's much difference at all as far as the feel of it um, I think that uh, this uh, may be side to side a little bit more but uh, overall it's a very very uh, very uh, comfortable ride well, what I do know uh, that I remember, if my memory serves me well, is that on the quad, it was doing probably 0 0.6, 0 0.65, 0 0.7 uh, gallons per acre of fuel burn. And uh, we're doing about 0.5. So I contribute that to the parent, uh, uh, what you call uh, the loss of the tracks. Uh, you know all the extra wheels that it's turning uh, so there's a, a loss of uh, energy that's used up in the tracks versus just the simpleness of a wheel so in our dry conditions right now the wheel tractor is working very well so I really like this Steiger it's got a lot of room got room for Kobe and uh, got room for a big lunch box got lots of leg room uh, right now I'm just baby babysitting it going from one end to the other so it's fairly simple even Mikey can do it what do you think Kobe need to find something one track mine been around this 620 Steiger for a while and uh, I told him he needs to go eat so I can run it because I haven't driven this thing yet it's it's nice it is really nice like the ride is smooth it's got tons of power um, I like the tires I really do maybe it's because I grew up on tires but it just feels like it's a little smoother I don't know it could just be me but it's fun to ride I've said it before and I'll say it again. I really like the visibility out of this cab. I like how the hood slopes down and you can see almost everything in front of you. And just everything around, just it's easy to see what you're doing. I like it. I like it a lot. Dad's been hogging the 620. That guy's been a seed machine. So, there's only a few acres left. And I want to get in the run a little bit more because I got to look at a little more content for you guys. So, Dad's, I think, recording too, but can I get him out of the seat? I don't know. He's falling in love with that tractor. Okay, let's go get Dad. I'm going to take over and uh, let's go farming. All right, time for some tractor talk. So, as you guys all know, this is a 620 Steiger with wheels, not a quad track. 620 horsepower, it's a power shift. And it's, uh, it's got a lot of really cool stuff. This is the AFS Connect model, which means it has the 1200 monitor on it. So let's take a closer look at some of the features of this monitor. Now, you have, like the Pro 700, this is the, the new one, the 1200. You can see here, you can switch between your run screens. And each one of these run screens are fully customizable. I can put whatever I want, cameras, all kinds of stuff back and forth on these. Like on 7, here's my ISO bus. So right here is the cart. This is the 3725 
Case IH cart. We're doing tank one and tank three. Tank one's fertilizer, tank three is seed. We're doing 65 pounds an acre of a starter blend, 67 pounds an acre of winter wheat seed. Our fan is running 3,700 RPM. We're going 4.9 miles an hour. Here is our sections. This has sectional control. There's eight sections on this. Another cool thing about this cart is it's got scales on it. So if I go to my scales here, it's telling me exactly how much is on the cart right now. Now the center tank, don't count that one. There's no product in there. So right now it says I've got 6,660 pounds of fertilizer and it says I've got 102 acres left on that tank at the rate I'm seeding, just under three hours until it's empty. That's And then when we're done with that, we're done with seed and winter weeks. That's the last for fertilizer. In my rear tank, the seed, it says I've only got 1,400 pounds and I've got 21 acres left to seed on that, basically 37 minutes and I'm out. So I gotta fill up soon because I'm gonna be running out of seed here. But that's okay, we're gonna keep going until we get close to that number. So that there is basically what's going on in the cart and on your monitor. Now there's a lot more to this monitor than just that. A lot more. Let's do some things with the tractor. I'll show you some cool features that it's got. Now, this tiger has got full differential locks front and back. I've got right here, if you look, this button, let's hit it, auto. There, lit up. Now, if you look up here, you can see we got the front differential and the rear differential. They're both locked up. So my axle, this set of wheels, and this set of wheels are now solid, turning the exact same speed. The cool part about automatic is as I get to this corner up here and go to turn, it'll disengage the diff locks so it can turn. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to turn very well. So you'll hear it go clunk, disengage, and then as soon as I turn on go straight again, it re-engages the, the diff lock. Now, if for some reason I don't want them all locked up, I can manually do the rear, or the, that's the front, or the rear, or I can turn them both off, and that way it's, not locked up anymore. So let's talk comfort in the tractor. Um, the seat, nice red leather. It's got cooling, heating available right here as needed. Air ride, you can adjust the seat forward and back all around, armrest. You can move in and out. You can up, raise and lower. The seat also swivels. Enough to get you some visibility so that way you're not breaking your neck looking back. You can move the 1200 up and around, left, right, tilt up, tilt down, all that kind of stuff. That's really nice. And my favorite is the multifunction handle, which is fairly customizable. You can put and assign different remotes to different buttons. You can assign different key features like your radio, your phone, all kinds of stuff to this. I really like the multifunction handle. All right. I'm going to try something too. This is another really neat feature about having scales. I know a lot of you guys out there have had it, but <laughs> our carts don't. So this is really exciting for me. We've got our monitor out here so I can see what's in the tanks from out here. So as I'm filling the rear tank, I need 6,000 pounds of seed. I'm going to watch this. Zero it out. We'll see. Actually, I won't zero it out. We'll find out where it's at, figure out the number I need when it hits 6,000, and then shut it all off. And theoretically, I should have enough seed to do what I need to do. All right, let's see here. So this is tank one. We've got 5,700 pounds of fertilizer. Let's go to tank scale C, which is tank three, 320. All right, so the cart's got 320 pounds of seed in at the moment. That means I want to put 6,000 in there. So the number I want to see is like 63, 6,400 pounds. Conveniently got the Badco conveyor right here. Still hooked up to the pickup. So let's get this unhooked. Let's get this in position. Let's get the truck fired up. Let's put 6,400 pounds of seed in there. Cause I think I might put a little bit more seed than fertilizer. Cause I'd rather run out of Fertilizer first, then seed. See if we get that 6400. Oh, that's so cool. The old way we did it. Just guess. Hope they were close. Okay, I think that's good. I actually think I put a little more than I meant to. 
So 150 pounds, 180 pounds more than I was expecting, but that's okay. I can just run the rate up a little bit if I need to. We'll see how it comes out, who knows. All right, I say let's get back to work. See this uh, goes to plan. down to the last 40 acres or so, and then we're done. I don't think I'm gonna have seed to do it though, because it says I've only got 20 acres left of seed in the tank. So I'll probably have to try to squeeze out whatever's left of the grain truck. There's a little bit, there's enough. Hopefully they'll get me to finish this field. I'd like to just finish it. I hate leaving fields half done. We'll see, but we're close, almost done. And then no more farming for 2021. Projects, yes, farming, no. That's it guys, last acre seeded. Got a little teeny bit left in the tank. That's okay, we'll get it out tomorrow, but I'm gonna run this back, park it, call it a night. Thanks for riding with me.